um, this is a video of troubleshooting the power draw, the parasitic power draw from the camper shell that they got installed. Um, the airy camper shell with the some electrical, the lights, and the 12 volt outlet. So um, here I have a multimeter. It's set to the 200 um, milliamps DC. That's what it's set to. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and measure from the hot to the camper shell, the power draw. So you can see there is a 111 amp power draw from the camper shell, even when nothing at all is connected to it. So I can show you that nothing is connected. I mean, nothing is connected. It's connected, but the light is not on. So the light is not on. This harness is connected, but the light is not on. If the light is on, it draws over an amp. With the light um, off, it, it still draws 110 amp. And I thought maybe it's a sensor of this thing. So I'll go ahead and close this. Uh, I mean, I'll even lock this, right? And I'll come back here and I'll measure it again. And you can see it's beyond about 11, 111, 112 milliamp power draw. Okay. So now with my camper shell disconnected, so electrical is not connected right now from the camper shell to the truck. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the draw from the rest of the truck. And I'm gonna do it on the negative for safety. So um, it's gonna uh, jump up for a second while the computer is rebooting in the truck because they disconnected the battery, right? So we'll give it a sec. Once computer is rebooted, it's gonna go down to about 27, 28, 30 milliamps, something like that, which is totally within normal. Up to 50, 60 milliamp as normal as I understand it. Right, so here we go. So here we go, here we have 27, 28 milliamps. Right, so that's totally normal. That's all the power drum getting with the camper shell disconnected. Okay. So now I'm gonna put this, well actually I don't have to put it back on. I'm just gonna go ahead and add the camper shell to the battery now. Okay, so and now I'm gonna go ahead and remeasure it with the camper shell connected. And before we we're getting 27, 28 milliamps, now we're gonna get about 110 milliamps more. So it's gonna be about 138, 139 milliamps. So I'm gonna do this and this. And again, while it's rebooting, it's gonna be over 200 milliamp draw. So the meter is going above the threshold. And there it goes. It's coming down now. And there, that's where it settles. Like I said, about 138, 139. Whereas normally without the camper shell connected, it's at about, like I said, 27, 28, 30, whatever the truck is doing when it's just sitting there, you know. Um, but yeah, with the camper shell connected, it's 110 milliamps extra. And what's worse, even if I disconnect the wire harness in the back of the truck, I'm still getting that 110 milliamp power draw. So let me go ahead and take this off. And I'm gonna go ahead and 
open this up. And I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect this wire harness. There we go. Okay. So now this is disconnected, right? So, I mean, there is no way to disconnect that 12 volt outlet. I don't think that's a problem here, but yeah, I'm not totally sure. But the, um, yeah, this is hardwired. I don't wanna mess with any of this wiring. Okay. But even with this disconnected, I'm gonna come back here. And now I'm gonna remeasure it again on the negative. And again, it's gonna jump for a second while the computer is rebooting in the truck. And it's still going to be at the same exact level, about 138, 139 milliamps. Yeah, there we go. Again, and, and until, unless I disconnect the camper shell. Okay, so let me show you. Let me go ahead and disconnect this again so this is the camper shell wire and connect the rest of it here and now wait a second yeah we want to measure from here to here and again the computer is going to reboot but once it all reboots and stabilizes, it's gonna go back down to about 27, 28. Just have to give it a couple of seconds. Yep, there it is. So 27, 28, 30, and it just stays here. Right, so basically that wire over there, that adds 110 milliamp draw, and the acceptable draw is 50, 60 milliamp total. And like I said, the truck draws just 27 without that thing. So that draws four times as much power as the rest of the truck. So that's, yeah, that's not great. Anyway, hope you guys can help me figure it out, maybe fix that. Thanks.